What is up guys, Christian here. Today I'll show you how to unlock any ASUS phone out there. Now in this case, I'm gonna use my Zenfone 2E, but this method will work for all models or all versions. Now I'm gonna show you my phone is currently locked to AT&T, but I wanna unlock it to use it with T-Mobile. So we'll just have to follow a couple of steps to unlock this phone. I'll show you how to do it step by step. It is extremely simple. We will only need a computer, your phone and a SIM card. Now, before we start, I have to mention that unfortunately it is not free and we will have to pay something to unlock this phone. But trust me guys, it is completely worth it to have a fully factory unlocked phone that is compatible worldwide with all GSM carriers. Now, I'm gonna show you the way to unlock it and then you decide if you wanna unlock it or not. So we will perform a factory unlock, which means that your phone will be unlocked permanently. Uh, don't worry, your phone won't, da won't get damaged at all. It won't damage your warranty or anything. Uh, in fact, it's only positive things that you can get out of this unlock. All right, so we're gonna start. So open your phone application and you have to tile star hash zero six hash. As you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear. This is very, very important, okay? So keep this number somewhere close because we will need it later to generate the unlock code. Use only the first 15 digits. Perfect. So once you have that number, we will switch to the computer. Open your internet browser and go to the website unlock river Dot com. All right. So once you're in that website, we will request the unlock code to unlock this phone. So we're going to start by selecting the original carrier and country that your phone is currently locked to. So in my case, my phone is currently locked to AT&T in the United States. So I will select that one. So make sure you select the original carrier. Okay, perfect. Now you have to select the brand of your phone. Of course, we're going to select um, ASUS or ASUS, I don't know how you wanna call it. And then you have to select the right model. Uh, as I said, this will work for any model, but um, in this case, I'm gonna select the one I am unlocking, which is the Zenfone 2E. Perfect. Now you have to write down your 15 digit IMEI number. This is a unique number and make sure you write it down here correctly, okay? Insert only the first 15 digits, very, very important. All right, so then you have to enter your personal email where you wanna receive your unlock code. And then scroll down and you will see the price to unlock your phone and an average delivery time to get that unlock code into your email. So we're gonna hit unlock now. So we'll just check everything one last time and hit unlock now and we will proceed to the following page. So here you will get a summary of the order you are about to place. Uh, check everything here, make sure all the information is correct. Read all the information here, there's useful information you need to uh, know before unlocking your phone, but don't worry, everything is safe. So once you have read everything, go ahead and place your order. So I'm gonna skip this part and I will come back when the order is completed. All right, so if you did everything correctly and you place your order successfully, you will see the following page. It basically confirms that your order was received and placed successfully. Great, now you just have to wait until they send you an email to your personal email account. And um, it will take around one to 72 hours. Sometimes it's very quick. Sometimes you have to wait a couple of um, hours more. Uh, but uh, it will arrive eventually. So uh, they will send you an unlock code to your email and I will show you how the email will look like. So let's go to my personal email account. I use Gmail and I'm gonna show you exactly the email that you will receive except with a different unlock code. So I let's go to Gmail. And this is my personal email account. And as you can see here, I got an email from Unlock River saying that my unlock code is ready. So I'm gonna select that one, open it. And uh, once you open your email, you will get exactly this saying that your unlock code is ready. It includes instructions step by step how to enter the unlock code. And the most important part, the actual unlock code. That's the most important part because this is a unique code and it is calculated based on your IMEI number. So I will show you how to enter this unlock code into your phone. So once you have received your unlock code, go ahead and power off your phone and you will have to insert a non-supported SIM card. So just remove the back uh, part of the phone, the back case, the back cover, and uh, insert a non-supported SIM card. And I mean, uh, for example, my phone is locked to AT&T. A non-supported SIM card would be any other GSM uh, SIM card that is not AT&T. So I wanna use it with T-Mobile. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert my T-Mobile SIM card here. It can be any other SIM card if you don't have one. So uh, once you have put it in, just go ahead and turn it on and it will take a few seconds until the phone is fully on. Then it will detect that you have inserted a non-supported SIM card and it will require you to enter the unlock code 
and that you receive in your email. So uh, if we unlock here, you will see that um, it will require an unlock code. So let's go ahead and swipe here. Let's do that again. Sim network unlock pin. So go ahead and insert the unlock code that you receive in your email. So in my case, I'm gonna insert my personal unlock code, five, six, one, one, six, eight, four, four, hit done. And once we hit unlock, we should get a success message. Let's go ahead and hit unlock. Network unlock successful. Perfect guys, the phone is now fully factory unlocked and ready to be used with any carrier, any GSM carrier worldwide. It is as simple as that guys, as you can see here I have a full bar, my phone is fully working now and it is compatible with all carriers. So that's it guys, that's all for today, that's how you perform a factory unlock on an ASUS phone. Let me know in the comment section down below if this method worked for you or if you have any questions, I'll try to reply to all of your um, comments. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Take care.